In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we give you glory. Lord Jesus, we thank you. For this is the day that you have made. And these are the children that you have given us. And I thank you for each and every one of them is so precious. You made them so beautiful. And thank you, Jesus, for speaking to them, for teaching them your word through us. Holy Spirit, you dwell inside these children. Help them to understand that they don't have to fear. They don't have to worry. They have nothing to lose because they are made mighty because the Holy Spirit himself stays in, in them. They carry him wherever they go. Holy Spirit, you know and you know how beautiful these children are and how much you feel like giving them, like teaching them and how much you love them. Holy Spirit, I surrender this session. I give this session entirely to you. Whatever I'm going to speak, let it be nothing of me, but everything of you. Let everything you want your children to speak come out of my mouth. And let this teaching be easy and simple for them to understand. Every word, make it very simple for them to understand. And once they finish, Help them to apply that to their life. And I know, Holy Spirit, you always listen to our prayers because you love us so much and you bless these children so much. As we are praying, I bind every spirit that is here to distract these children. Every spirit that comes to shut them out. Every spirit that is stopping them from speaking. Lord, I give you glory and I thank you that every child of yours is going to answer questions today. Every child is going to speak about it. Thank you, Jesus. And we make this prayer in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Okay, get the she clearly hover her. They put a anchor chicken lot and teacher Fatima and break on just God's love chicken lolo. My the Japoil anchor chicken lolo, over her conaco, Ugla Saha. Do you all remember what we did? We were talking about faith. Yes. Yeah? Okay, teacher Fatima will give you a recap, okay? <laughs> yes, praise God. Children, how could you forget? I know you, you yes. the Holy Spirit is reminding you. Huh? We showed you something, no? We showed you white. What was that? What, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what was there on that white what paper? Huh? What did you see? Black oh, dot. Come on, answer. Wow, wow. Very good. Yes, we saw black yeah, Now they dot. remember. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. Yes, we saw a black dot. And what that white, a full white represented? What did, what did it represent? That white thing, that white paper, that blank paper which was white. What did it represent? It's we. It Come is on, all. It is, it is each one of us who are created in God's image and likeness. Pure and beautiful. Huh? Isn't it? White, pure. What does white represent children? Like when we go for baptism, okay, when we are taken, when we are taken for baptism, we are dressed in what color? White. White. Why is it white? Because we are now made pure. Purity, isn't it? 
praise God and God has created us to be beautiful, to be pure, to be holy, praise God. And then we saw that black dot there. And what is that black dot? That small black dot. Hmm? It's what the Satan brings, the lies of the enemy, all into one, all the lies of the enemy. Okay. When, when you, Why, Fatima, just yeah. wait, huh? Yeah. Just wait, okay. Baba Joyma, can you log out and come in? Because Jolton, it seems, is stuck on Joyma's screen. Ah, okay, she's... Disconnect and come back, Baba. Let's see. Praise God. Sorry. Praise God. Jesus. Yeah, I saw Jesus. him join. Mm. Jesus. God. Praise God. Jesus. Aiden, today you must talk on that day you were talking and put your <laughs> video on, Baba. I putting I'm putting video on. I want you also to put video on. Okay, and after sister. some time, I think also will put on. Okay, sister. Okay. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> You are such a champion. You are such a blessed child of God. So wonderful. Are you writing notes, Aiden? Are you writing, Rebaba? Yes, teacher. Ah. Okay. Good. Thank, God. You. Thank Praise you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, go ahead, Baya Fatima. Sorry. Uh, yeah, praise God now, for sister. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so then we saw that that is a small black dot. That is what, you know, the world is, you know, trying to put their lies into us, you know, by, and uh, beautifully, teacher Maria, she gave beautiful uh, uh, examples, like how people say to us, oh, you are this, you are that, you cannot do this, you are cannot, you cannot do that. You are, uh, you know, the names calling and all, like, you know, uh, speaking bad about us. It's all all that small black dot okay praise god thank you just but god has created us to be you know pure holy just like him we are all created in god's image and likeness praise god thank you jesus so we are not to focus on on that small black dot no we are not to focus on that we have we have to focus on what god says about us he says that we are the light of the world we are the salt of the earth and we know salt how important it is okay and we know to be the light how important it is to be the light when it is darkness what do we look for we look, we look, we look for switch, no, in the room, like when we enter the room and if it is fully dark, what do we do? First thing is that we, we put on, put the switch on, isn't it? We don't, nobody wants to be in that darkness. Everyone wants to be in that light and we are that light in people's lives. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And then what did we, uh, what did we speak about? What parable? What did we learn that day? Jesus was, what did Jesus do? Come on. <laughs> Come on, what happened? See, one huh? day, one so Tuesday, we took a break. See, what happened? <laughs> praise God, praise God. Praise thank, you, God thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Holy Spirit is helping us to remember, isn't it? Praise God. Okay, we saw, uh, we, we which is that uh, scripture that we took from which gospel? Gospel of Luke. Now you remember? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You remember Thanks. Jesus was at the lake? Okay, I'll put up that scripturally, then you can remember. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, no problem, children. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, it Thank is you, Luke Jesus. chapter 5, verses 1 to 7. Now you remember? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on, Joyma. Praise God. Hey, huh? Praise God. Wow. Jesus. Yes. Uh, remember now? What did we learn? Yes. Ah, praise God. Okay. So I will tell you quickly. Okay. So Jesus was, there was a big multitude. We know the word multitude. Multitude meaning big in numbers. Lot of people were around Jesus to hear the word of God. 
and you know the word of god it is not like how uh, nowadays people come and give talks no it is not it was not an ordinary thing okay the word of god we have learned now we have been coming week after week and we know that the word of god is the power of god is jesus himself isn't it john 1:1 the word was with god in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word is god that is word is jesus himself he became flesh and dwelt amongst us remember children praise god ha huh? so this the, jesus was speaking the word of god he was sharing to the people about the kingdom of god he was telling people about his father how loving his father is how merciful his father is praise god okay so there were lot of people big in numbers around jesus okay then what he, what did jesus do what did jesus saw after that when he was standing by the lake what did jesus see it is there in verse 2 what did jesus see he saw two boats and then what did he do he got into one of the boat okay so that he could have a better look at the people isn't it when jesus is in the boat now he can face those people no that the people are all uh, 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 at the edge of the lake okay and jesus is in the boat in the water okay now jesus can speak to them in a better way praise god thank you jesus okay and who did that boat belong to children Simon Peter come on <laughs> yes Simon Peter it Thanks. belonged to Simon Peter now see how how Jesus chose the boat of Simon Peter okay and what was what was Simon Peter doing there with his other uh, fellow uh, people what he was doing what Simon was doing what the fishermen were doing their children nets yes they were washing their nets they they came after after full night in the water okay Try, uh, they had gone to for fishing okay and now they are come during the day and now they are washing their nets preparing their nets again for the uh, for the uh, night sketch okay now why they have to wash the nets if they haven't caught any fish there was lot you know no when you go and put your net in the water there is lot of weeds there's uh, that get stuck to the net okay and uh, if if they are stuck to the net then the fish will not uh, get trapped inside okay so they were all washing their nets okay they were very disappointed because whole night they went out for fishing and they did not catch any fish okay so they were disappointed dejected depressed and they were washing their nets okay and jesus saw that and then what did, what did jesus do he started preaching to the people okay and peter was also listening because he was obviously there he listened to what jesus was teaching okay and then jesus told him peter uh, take your net and cast it into the sea okay now it was not easy see you catch fish only in the night okay and this was during day time that jesus is asking peter to put his net in the water okay now as fishermen peter was very wise in fishing okay he had all the knowledge the skills everything okay and this jesus is come and telling him to cast a net is it easy children now jesus is not a fisherman no but he is telling peter to cast his net into the water okay and what does peter say peter says okay okay at the beginning what does peter say we have toiled all night and caught nothing praise god he says god. master we have toiled all night and caught nothing nevertheless at your word i will let down the net you know children before we received the word of god before we, before we came to the word we were all trying with our own efforts okay we were all trying we were all depressed dejected okay in this world we were facing lot of uh, you know troubles everything so much was going on in our lives okay but when we came to the word we understood what is this word this word is the power of god okay and when we confessed the word believing in the word not just confession not just speaking the word but believing in the word now when we confess we know we receive the manifestation whatever we ask for in prayer when we believe we receive it okay and now the exactly the same way the peter says master we toiled all night 
there was disappointment we we caught nothing but now because you say so i am putting the net in the waters because of your word okay and today we are all standing here because of that very word of jesus praise god we are we are uh, we are already victorious because of that word that jesus gave to us isn't it children praise god mm -hmm. huh this bible classes are, are, are benefiting you all isn't it hmm? there are a lot of things ups and downs that are happening in our lives but when we speak the word believing in the word we receive our manifestation isn't it we see so many testimonies in our life praise god okay so peter because of that word of jesus he puts his net and now what happens does he find disappointment what does he find now after casting uh, his net in the water what does what does peter find fishes yes they caught they they catch a lot of fish imagine lot of fish gets caught in the net and that too during day time praise god okay whole night they 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 were there in the waters but they caught nothing and now with that word of jesus they catch so much fish but that fish is not breaking the net imagine now when god gives he gives in abundance we see that when god gives he gives in abundance and no one can take it from us like how that net it was not it, it didn't break with that lot of fish in it it did not tear it was as it is it 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 held all that fish in that net in the same way okay in the same way what god has blessed no one can curse children okay and when god gives he gives in abundance at night they went in the waters but there was no jesus with them now they have jesus with them and with jesus they receive in abundance even with us children with jesus we are victorious we are complete we are full but yeah. without jesus we are empty without jesus we are empty praise god okay praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus. okay and then then we learned very 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 important what did we learn what did uh, what uh, who we are who are we who are we children what does 1 corinthians 6 19 and 20 says children children of god praise god okay 1 corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 we are the temple of the living god see praise god read or do you oh. not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who is in you whom you have from god are you and you are not your own praise god wonderful thank you jesus do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who is in you who is the holy spirit children who is the holy spirit hmm? holy spirit is the spirit of god so god himself is inside of you today god is not out of you he is not outside he is inside of you praise god you carry jesus you carry god wherever you go okay praise god thank you jesus thank you, huh? thank we you. are the body we are the body we are the temple of the holy spirit this body carries god inside of us and we are not of our own how we are not of our own why we are not of our own because god gave his son jesus jesus died for you and me on the cross jesus gave every drop of his blood he purchased us he redeemed us praise god okay children god. we carry god inside each one of us you have god inside of you when god is with you who can be against you no one nothing greater is the spirit of jesus who is in you than the enemy who is out in the world we learn this isn't it ha huh? children 1 john 4 4 praise god see you must you must quickly tell now ha huh? okay 
because we have done this before. Huh? Now read. Okay. You, you are yes. of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he you than he who is in the world. Amen. Praise God. See what it says. He who is in you, who is in you, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Okay. Who is in the world? The enemy is in the world. The Satan is in the world. The lies of the enemy. That black dot is in the world. And you are that white paper. Thank okay. God. Isn't it children? You are that white, beautiful, pure child of God. And that Satan, he comes with those lies. He's that black dot. You don't listen to him. You don't give your ear to him. You give your ear to Jesus. So that you hear only from Jesus. What is Jesus speaking, saying about me? What, Je what is Jesus saying about me? He, Jesus is calling me the light. I'm not in the darkness. I'm not part of it. I'm the light. And that light you have, you carry with you everywhere you go. When Jesus is inside of you, huh? you, you, you are carrier of that light inside of you children you are precious praise god okay and then we did a very beautiful one which was the last scripture which we did children if you remember about the holy spirit hmm? we learned so much from this okay we had learned this in an amplified version remember praise god thank you jesus Mom, you have to remember the thing. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Now read Baba uh, who was reading. Praise God. Okay. This one let Linston read. Okay. Aiden. Yeah. Go Baba. Linston read. No. Go Baba. Linston. For the helper. Comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send my name in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things and he will help you for everything that I have told you. Amen. Praise God. See, who is this helper? The helper is the Holy Spirit. And see, he has so many functions. He's the comforter, he's the advocate, he's the intercessor, the counselor, the strengthener, the standby. Oh my goodness me, so much in one Holy Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And it says, whom the Father will send. Now, this, this was written at the time when Jesus was on the earth. Okay. 2024 years before when Jesus was on earth, Jesus spoke these things that whom the Father will send in my name. And what happened in the Acts of Apostles? The Holy Spirit came upon them, okay? Uh, came upon the apostles in the in that uh, book, okay? After after the Gospel of John, the next book, which we, we will learn further, okay? Which will we will learn in the future classes, okay? Praise God. But the Holy Spirit is already come. He came on the day of Pentecost, Okay, after Jesus died, then he was resurrected, then he stayed with the disciples, then he went back to his father. And after 40 days, he sent the Holy Spirit. Okay, it came upon his apostles. And then whoever they laid their hands on, the Holy Spirit came upon them when they believed in Jesus. Okay, only when you believe in Jesus, you receive the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is in each one of you children. Okay, praise God. Okay. So this Holy Spirit is already come. He will not come. He has already come and he's already inside of you. And what he's doing now, what the Holy Spirit is doing now, he's teaching you all things. He's teaching you all things. And also not just teaching you and forgetting about it. No, he's also reminding you. He's helping you to remember everything. That I have told you, who is this I, Jesus? These words are of Jesus' children. Jesus is telling you and me, 
the Holy Spirit is come and he will teach you all things and he will also help you to remember all that I have spoken. Today, the class is, is taken by the Holy Spirit. He's speaking through each one of us children, each one of us Holy Spirit is speaking today. Okay, and it is he who is teaching us. He is giving us the explanation. Praise God. And it is not limited to what teacher Maria says or teach what I say. Okay, it is not limited to that. He is also teaching you. He will give you another revelation. Okay, what we don't know, he will teach you. And you can share it with us when you, when, when, when you, re, when you receive that. Okay, and when you will receive it, when you open your Bible and you read that word, when you are reading the word, Holy Spirit will teach you. He will give you a different explanation and you can come and share it with us. Okay, praise God. Over to you, sister. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Very Jesus. Very beautiful. Thank you, teacher Fatima. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so today, do you all have any testimonies, anything Holy Spirit is telling you? Come on, talk about me, share about me, I love you. Does the Holy Spirit say anything to you? Anything happened in the school where Jesus just came there right in that time? Okay, so think about it. Okay, daily there will be one, one thing when you take the name of Jesus. So today we'll um, um, learn about a boy like you. Okay, a simple, and we all know this story. So we'll make it very simple and we'll talk about that. So let's go to John chapter 6. Hmm. And we'll put the whole chapter by. Whole oh, yeah, yeah. So we'll see, we'll remove parts in this. I think we'll go for with NLT. It will be easier for them. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Joyma, go ahead, baby. After this, Jesus crossed over the over to the far side of the Sea of Galilee, Galilee, also known as the Sea of Tiberius. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miracles, signs as he healed the sick. Then Jesus climbed a hill and sat down with his disciples around him. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover's Passover celebration. Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for his turning to Philip. He asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip okay. replied, so wait, wait, Baba, wait. So if what does it say? See, now imagine Jesus, okay? We already know Jesus now. He must have been so beautiful. He must have been so loving. He must have been so, you know, happy. And when he looked at children, he was even more beautiful. He loved children like you. He loved to talk to children. So he, wherever Jesus went, there were this huge crowd following Jesus. Why? Why was the big crowd following Jesus? Because everyone could see how Jesus was doing miracles, how Jesus was doing all these signs, healing people. You know, so wherever Jesus worked, people used to rush to him. So people were following Jesus because of his miracles, his signs, and everything he was doing. And children were following Jesus because they loved him. So, Jesus, what did he do? He climbed on a hill because Jesus, every moment, Jesus would connect to his father. He would talk to his father. He would thank his father. He would be in the presence of his father. You know how we think if someone says something because we keep thinking. So Jesus would always think about his father. So he climbed a hill and sat down with his disciples around him. Jesus is God. 
He knows everything about everyone. So now Jesus knew that the crowd is going to come where he's sitting. So what happened? Now look at him. He is so smart. Now he looked at Philip and he said, uh, the big crowd is coming now. Where can we buy bread? Now, see, here it says in 6, Jesus was only testing Philip. Now Jesus was saying, let's see what Philip says. Because he already knew what he was going to do. Okay, now let's see what he's going to do. Okay, now 7. Philip, what does he say, Baba? Yeah, Even, he, yeah, go ahead. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we will not have enough money to feed them. Yeah. Then, so, wait, you, one minute, Baba, one minute. So, Philip says, what do you think? How are we going to feed these people? Even if I work for all these years, for four months, for months and months, and I won't have that much money. We won't have that much money to feed all these people. All these people. So, see how he responded? Jesus what he was going to do. But Jesus was only testing. Only testing. So whenever we have this maths test coming, whenever we have Hindi test coming, whenever we have English test coming, Jesus is only testing us. Jesus is only checking on us if we are calling out to him. Jesus is only testing us. Jesus already know what he's going to do in your life. So now Philip replied. See, did Philip give a good reply or a negative reply? What was Philip's reply? Was it good reply? Aiden, was it a good reply? How yes, are we going to feed yes. these people? Yes, sir. No, Baba, it's not. God, Jesus is asking Philip. How are we going to feed these people? Where are we going to buy this food? And Philip is saying, oh, we're going to feed these people. Even if we have so much money, we can't feed these people. It's a negative reply. It's not a good reply. It's a negative reply. So then what happens? Now we know that there is a big crowd. I can't even say how big the crowd would have been. It only says 5,000, but I'm sure it has more than that. So the crowd was so big. Then Andrew, now they are all friends. Now suppose we go for a party. We are not sitting alone. Like Linston won't sit alone, right? Linston's mummy will be there. Uh, if Joyma is invited, she'll be there. I'll be there. Teacher Fatima will be there. We will be sitting together. Same way. When Philip was sitting, Philip is one of the disciples, one of the apostles. So where Philip was sitting, there was also Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother. He was there. And they said, now they spoke up. So what did they say? Read Baba. Eight. Then Andrew, Simon's Peter, Simon, Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five belly loaves and two fish. But what good is that with his with this huge crowd? Okay. So now what they say? They tell Jesus. Now they're making a plan now. How are we going to feed these people? So they say, you know, suppose just think Aiden, just think about Linston. They say. There's a little boy, there's a young boy there. But he only has five loaves and two fish. So he only has five loaves of bread and two fish. Can that, uh, whatever he has. Now that boy also is going with Jesus everywhere. He's following Jesus. See, because he loves listening to Jesus. He's following Jesus everywhere. And he must have, his mummy must have given him 
fish and bread in case he is hungry. But when they are listening to Jesus' word, maybe he wasn't hungry. He was only following Jesus every way he is listening to the word of Jesus. Because the how we have food. Now we can't sleep if we are hungry, right? If we sleep without, we are hungry, we complain. If suppose one day mommy is not there to cook, we'll complain. We'll never want to go to sleep hungry. And even if we are sick, mommy will never send us to sleep hungry. So that's physical food. We know we are hungry. But people running with Jesus, why are they running? Because of his word. Because they want to listen what he's doing. Listen what he's talking, what he's teaching. So that is spiritual food. Spiritual nourishment. It strengthens our spirit. It strengthens us internally, inside out. It makes, it strengthens our faith. It makes us strong in faith. So they say, oh, there's one boy. He's got two fish and five loaves. Now, how can I say? Suppose Linston is given, his mommy gave him two fish and five loaves. And Linston is like, okay, I'm going with Jesus, but I'm only going to eat my fish. Only me. I'm not going to give it to anyone. He can do that. Or he can say to Aiden, he can say to Joyma, he can say, you know, I know you're hungry. Come on, let's share this food. But no, what does that boy do? That boy joyfully offers. He joyfully takes his fish and his bread and he gives. That boy doesn't even think twice. But with a happy face, he says, this is what I have. I have this. My mommy gave me this. So he gives it to the apostles. He gives. He doesn't hold. He gives it to the apostles. Then what happens? Then what happens? Go further, Baba. Ten. Now, they, to they told Jesus, that boy has... Two fish, five loaves. What can we do with that? It's a big crouch, huge crowd. So Jesus knows what he's going to do. Jesus says, tell everyone to sit down. Tell everyone to sit down on the grassy slopes. Everyone to sit down. So Jesus says, Jesus knows everyone's tired. Jesus wants everyone to relax. Rest. How to rest? Sit down. Don't stand and eat. Sit down. Jesus knows exactly what he's going to do. So everyone sits down. So they all sit. You know, you know, it's nice when we go for handi huris and everything. It's so nice, calm, beautiful. So it's something like that. Just imagine. Jesus says, now you sit down. So many people, he knows, he went on the hill. He has even chosen a place. And then what did Jesus do, Joyma? Go 11, baby. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterwards, he did the same with the fish. And they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve buckets with scrap left by the people who had eaten from the five Barely loops. Praise God. So, so let's concentrate. There is so much to grasp 
so much to absorb, so much to dive in, so, so deep this topic is. Now imagine, you all are all beautiful small children. You all are not old. You all are very precious. And God has chosen you. God has called you. Your parents have encouraged you. And you come here to listen to the word. Right? And each one of you are like that boy. Because Jesus has given your gift. You all are not empty. You all already have some fish and bread inside you. So what is this uh, parable is trying to tell us? What this um, um, chapter is trying to tell us? That that boy gave whatever he had. He willingly offered whatever he had. He wasn't selfish, but he opened his heart, opened his hand and gave to Jesus. In the hands of Jesus was the fish and the bread. Then what happened? Jesus didn't take and hide it. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm the one who's preaching. I'm the one who's teaching. I'm hungry. Let me eat this fish. He didn't say that. He held that fish in his hand, looked up to his father and thanked his father. He said, thank you, father. He sat down and he, uh, what did he say? He took the loaves, gave thanks to God, his father. See now, it was only this much. And he just gave, gave thanks. And they keep distributing, distribute, 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 distribute. Hey, where did all that come from? The two fishes and the five loaves. How were all these people fed? This is what Jesus tells us. Joyma, Linston, Aiden, Jordan, who else is there? Every one of you are given fish and bread. You are not hungry. And where does it tell you? I have read it in 1 Peter 4.10. Because every one of you here are given gifts. You are just not sent. You are just not given to your parents. Go. Let's see what your mama and dad are doing with you. Ah, ah. God has made you special. Is it 10 and 4? 4 by 4. 1 Peter 4. 4. Yeah. No, no. 1 Peter 4 uh, verse 10 and 11. Okay, sister. So, so God has made you the way he wants. Joyma is not like me. Joyma is not like Linston. Aiden is not like Joyma. Everyone is different. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is precious. Now see what God is saying here. Okay, read by. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gifts of speaking? Okay, we'll only do 10 first, okay? So what does it say? God, the God who created you has given each one of you a gift from his variety. He doesn't have a smile. He doesn't have, a, a, you know, he doesn't have a, whatever, you know, a variety. He's got a smile. He's got a, you know, a... a what you say, love, he's got intelligence, he's got uh, everything, everything, and he just speaks. Okay, Linston, you can have this. 
Jaima, okay, I won't give this to you. I'll give you this. See? Everyone is given a gift from his great variety. He has got ample of gifts. But he picks and he gives what is best for us. He picks, he knows exactly what Aiden has. He knows what he should, he put in Aiden. He put something very special in Linston. He did very beautiful things in Joyma as well. Very precious gifts. So what does it say? Use them well. Do not hide them. I have given you those gifts. They are like fish and the bread. Give them. And mommy tells you, can you help me? Don't be grumpy. Say, okay, what can I do for you, mama? Mommy tells you, okay, wake up. I'm not going to school. Say that. Okay, mom, I'll wake up. Well, use them well to serve one another. If someone is, mommy is not well, don't say, I don't care. She's a mommy. She can sleep there. Oh, mom, how can I help you? I know you're not well. Serve. Serve her. Think about what Jesus did. Think about that boy who used those gifts. You never made a bad boy, bad girl. You're made very beautiful. You know, so it says, if you have a gift of speaking, speak it out. When the teachers are telling you, you hear something, speak it out. God has not made you mute. He has given you a mouth and that mouth is having a tongue of a teacher. God has created you a prophet. So when you don't speak, you listen to another voice. He said, no, 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 don't unmute. Don't talk. Let them do what they're doing. You don't answer. So, who are you listening to? That other voice. But the Holy Spirit rejoices. When his children speak, when the questions ask and the children answer, Holy Spirit jumps with joy. So when you have a gift of speaking, when you can unmute, speak. As though God himself was speaking through you. Because when you say, okay, when you tell the scriptures, see, always Linston, Joyman, uh, they write down the scriptures and we want Aiden also to write it down. So when you answer, it's like Jesus is speaking to the whole world through you. Do you have a gift of helping others? Do you have a gift of helping your mummy? Or just because she's your mummy, you don't want to help? You have a gift. You're made very nice. You're made beautiful. So go and help someone. That person, that friend of yours, very bad at maths and you're good at maths. Say, come on, I'll help you. This is how I work that problem. Do it all with the strength and energy that God gives. God supplies that energy. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wow. And how beautifully this is. That everything you do will bring glory to God through Christ Jesus. Whatever you do will bring glory to one and only God who created. You're not doing something. Now suppose I say, Linston, can I have a chocolate? Look, I haven't eaten a chocolate so long. But Linston's mummy has given him only two chocolates. And he doesn't want to give it to me. But then he thinks what I heard. He thinks what Jesus told him. He thinks how he's created. He thinks of the gift that is inside him. And the gift is to serve, to give, to share, to love. So give that fish. He already created with two fishes and five loaves. Take it 
and gave it. So my dear children, all glory and power to him forever. So now what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, take the screen, Baba. Yeah. So now what I'm trying to tell you is, we are learning from this lesson today. I'm learning too. I'm learning not to be selfish. I'm learning to trust my God who has created me. I'm learning to trust God. See, God tests us all the time. God checks, oh, what is Linston going to do today? Let me put some pressure. So, God, that day he was sick. God never makes you sick. Right? But he was sick. But then very soon his exam came. And then he could say, oh, no, 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 Mama, I can't do it. It's so hard. I can't do it. I was sick. But no, he decided to stand by that word. And he decided to remember that he can do all things. And off he went. And God already planned and prepared the results. So when we give those two fishes, when we give that little strength that you have, God multiplies your strength, multiplies your intelligence, multiplies your ability, multiplies everything that you have. But you have to give your two fishes Give your two bre uh, five breaths. Then, see, remember, whenever we are at test, we have to seek God. We have to know that we have only one God. And with that God, all things are possible. We have to know God always multiplies. Always multiplies. God is a God of abundance. He has come to give us life abundantly. But everything is a sacrifice. Everything we have to sacrifice. We can't think of ourselves all the time. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So then what I was going to say, ah, uh, uh, is are we will you were you able to get that picture, Baba? Yes, that yes, boy? sister. Yes, yes. Praise you, Baba. I will show you. Okay, we are just imagining now how that boy would have been. Because that boy would have been Linston's age. That boy would have been Aiden's age. That boy would have been Joyman's age. You know. So so we thought, okay, let's show you a picture. Like you did he give it with a sad face or did he give it with a happy face? Okay, so we'll see. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll put it up now. Yeah, yeah, put. Okay. Praise God. <laughs> See? So this picture may not be the real boy. But what we saw is that smile on his face. He, see, he's a small boy. He could be hungry. He could be, oh, no, no, I'm not hiding it. I'm better hide it in my shirt. Hide it somewhere. And it is in the basket. So, But he did see with a smile, you can have it. People want food, you can have it. We have only to give. We don't give, Jesus doesn't multiply. Jesus can't multiply, we don't give. What will he have to multiply? Only if we give Jesus, I have this much. I think I'm not good at maths. Will you help me? And what Jesus does, takes it and says, don't you worry. I will do the rest. I am in control. You just have to come to me. You just have to remember who your God is. You just have to remember that I am your God and I love you. And just give it with a smile because you're never created weak. You're never created what people tell you. You are created what God tells you. And God tells you, 
I have given you the gifts. I have made you strong. Just give. Come here. Tell me what you feel. And I'll do the rest. Isn't that amazing? So this only teaches us to trust God. Trust. Be confident. Oh, I... And when you come and hear the word of God, that word of God definitely, definitely does wonders in your life. That's why I was saying, you must remember, ah, today I thought I was going to be late at school. Today I was not feeling well. I didn't feel like going to school. But then I said, if I belong to Jesus, he's always in control. Jesus loves me. Greater is Jesus who's in me. Holy Spirit dwells inside me. So praise God. You are here for a big purpose, not a small purpose. Big purpose. And you are here because you are mighty. And Jesus loves you. And Jesus wants you to learn his word. To know his word. And only when you have that problem, only when you have a difficulty, that's when Jesus will say, ah, ah, what did you learn that day? What did you come and hear that day? He will remind you because he dwells inside you. You don't have to go looking for him. And he said, I am your teacher. I am your advocate. I am your standby. I am your counselor. I am everything. But we just can't hear it. We have to think about it. We have to ask him. Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. And he'll never make you weak. He will never make you shame. He will never put you to shame. Your friends will say, hey, look at that one. Look at this. Aha, uh -huh. they don't know who you are. You are a child of God. You are a mighty, precious child of God. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You are called to light the whole world. Praise God. And Jesus loves you. So remember always give those two fishes what the gifts that you have. Give them in the hands of Jesus. Go to him quietly and tell him, Jesus, I don't know what is happening. But I'm not thinking about it. I'll give it to you. And see what wonders Jesus does. Nothing, nothing is lacking. Nothing is missing when we know Jesus. And we know Jesus by his word, through his word. And whenever you meet your friends, you tell them, oh, you know, we have the Zoom classes, we learn, we study Bible. So Jesus is using you to call other people. Jesus is using you to talk to your friends. That Holy Spirit is using you. Say, wow, look at his life. He's so happy. He's so good. I also better go and learn from them. I also be, go and see what he's doing, what Joyma's doing, what Linston's doing. So God is using you to expand his kingdom, to grow his kingdom, to build his people through you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So always, when there is a question asked, Open your mouth and say it. Don't be upset. Don't be sad. Don't be shy. Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves you. More than anyone else. Jesus loves you. And the Spirit of God inside you is greater, mightier. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please Praise Jesus. God. Praise God. So did you all understand?
asked a question. I asked a question. Did you all understand? Yes. Only sister. two others. Praise God. Linston, did you understand, Baba? Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you blessed? Yes. Praise Jesus. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You have any questions? Hmm? Praise Jesus. All right, Baba Fatima. Yeah, praise God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Father God, for this anointed teaching, Lord, today. Thank you, Lord, that we are taught by you alone. And create is our peace and prosperity, Lord. Thank you for these precious children, Lord, who come every week to know you, to grow in your word, in your love, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They are a blessing to many nations, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They are blessed with the tongue of a learned, Lord. They know how to sustain their weary with the word. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that when we seek you with all our heart, Lord, we lack no good thing, Lord. Yes, all our needs are met, Lord, when we have you with us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, we are all gifted, Lord. We are all gifted with great variety of spiritual gifts, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Lord, help us, Lord, to use them well. To use them with godly wisdom, Lord. Just to serve you and your people, Lord. Yes, to be the light to the world, Lord. To be the salt of the earth, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are blessed to be a blessing to others, Lord. And all that we have, Lord, and all that we do, Lord. Bring glory to you alone, Lord. Yes. And all that we have learned today, Lord, we believe, Lord, it has fallen on the good soil of our hearts of these children, Lord, and it is bearing fruit for your kingdom, Lord. Yes. Let just not be the hearers, but we are the doers. We are the sharers of your word, Lord. Yes. And, God. and Lord, angels are in charge of us, Lord, protecting us and guiding us along the way, Lord. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you.